This video will cover the topic, determining the end behavior of the graph of a polynomial function. Before we begin working, we first need to define what end behavior actually is. End behavior refers to what each end of a graph is doing. There are four types of end behavior. The first is a graph that falls to the left and rises to the right. The second type is a graph that rises to the left and falls to the right. The third type is a graph with both ends rising. And the fourth type is a graph with both ends falling. So to determine end behavior, do we need to sketch the whole graph of a function and then say what the end behavior is? Actually, no. There is a way to determine the end behavior without sketching the graph at all. In fact, we will determine end behavior only by looking at the polynomial function. However, in order to do this, we do need to understand what the degree and leading coefficient of a polynomial function are. Can you give me a quick refresher on what those things are? Sure. The degree of a polynomial function is the highest power to which the variable in the function is raised. For example, the polynomial 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 1 has a degree of 3 because 3 is the highest power the variable x is raised to. Now the leading coefficient is the coefficient of the variable with the highest power. So in this polynomial, positive 3 is a leading coefficient. I say positive because the sign of the leading coefficient also matters for this topic. Okay, I understand now. Now what do we do with the degree and leading coefficient? We will look at the degree to see if it is an odd or even number. If it's an odd number, then the graph falls on one side and rises on the other, as in the first two types of end behavior. If the degree is even, then both sides either rise or both sides fall, as in the last two types of end behavior. For the leading coefficient, we need to look at its sign. For an odd number degree, if the leading coefficient is positive, then the graph falls to the left and rises to the right and we'll write leading coefficient here as LC. In contrast, for an odd number degree, if the leading coefficient is negative, then the graph rises to the left and falls to the right. For example, think of the function y equals 2x to the fifth. It has an odd degree of 5 and a leading coefficient of positive 2. So what should the end behavior of the graph of this function be? It falls to the left and rises to the right, which is end behavior type 1. Is that correct? Yes, you're right. Now if the function was y equals negative 2x to the fifth, then the graph would rise to the left and fall to the right because of the negative leading coefficient. If the degree of the function is even and the leading coefficient is positive, then both ends rise. If the degree is even and the leading coefficient is negative, then both ends fall. For example, if we have the two functions y equals x squared and y equals negative x squared, what would be the end behavior of the graphs of these two functions? Both functions have an even number degree of 2, and the first one has a leading coefficient of positive 1. So the end behavior for the first function is where both ends rise, which is type 3. Because the leading coefficient of the second function is negative, both ends for that graph will fall, which is type 4. Very good. For a complete understanding of this topic, let's try a couple more examples. Say we are given f of x equals 4x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 4. What is the end behavior of the graph of this function? The degree is 4, which is even, and the leading coefficient is positive, so that means that both ends rise. Correct. Now we'll try one more. What is the end behavior of f of x equals negative x times x minus 3 times 5x plus 2? Well, for this one, it appears that I'll have to expand it first, right? Yes, that's the right approach. Remember, you only need the degree and the sign of the leading coefficient, so you don't have to expand everything. You only need the leading term of the polynomial. Okay, so I'll find the leading term by multiplying the negative x with the first term of each factor. Negative x times x times 5x equals negative 5x cubed. The degree is odd, and the leading coefficient is negative, so this means that the graph rises to the left and falls to the right. Well done. You understand this very well. In summary, in order to analyze a function for end behavior, we determine whether the degree of the function is odd or even, and we check the sign of the leading coefficient. By knowing these two things, we can know what direction the graph leads to on either side. Great summary. It sounds like you are ready to master this topic.